What is going on guys? So today I want to talk about something that I have heard several times and I know some of you guys have heard the same thing as well and I'm just going to give my two cents and everything on the topic and that is it is more difficult actually finding a job or keeping a job when you're in the Army Reserves or if you're in the National Guard and this can kind of go for any branch not necessarily just the Army. All right, so if some of you did not know, I am an officer in the Army Reserves. I've been in for almost four years now. And so I just, you know, was thinking, you know, I kind of wanted to address this topic. I saw it a little while ago. And sometimes I just, you know, kind of want to do a video because I know that there's a lot of you out there who are maybe thinking of joining the National Guard. Maybe you're thinking of joining the Reserves in some branch. And something on the back of your mind that maybe you've heard before is it's more difficult to find a job or even keep a job whenever you actually join the Army Reserves. And again, I'm just going to use the Army Reserves because I'm in the Army Reserves. This could apply for several different kinds of like part term service, right? So any kind of guard, any kind of reserve, it all applies, right? Okay, so first things first, if you are currently deciding on joining the military and you have a current job, like you have some job that you're kind of maybe worried about keeping, some people think that uh, because if you are already in the military and you have a job, you know, if you leave for your annual training for two weeks, your employer is like required to actually kind of keep your job opening, you know, for you so that you don't lose your job when you go for like two weeks of training or if you go to airborne school for a month, right? You are supposed to, you know, have that job secured for you so you don't get fired for it. Some people think that, you know, if you're deciding to join, you know, if you wanna go and you're gonna be gone for several months that your employer that you have right now as a civilian is required to do the same thing. I just wanna say that that is not true. If just, let's say for example, you're working at a company you know, it requires you to do a whole bunch of work. And then all of a sudden you decide that you want to go and join the Army Reserves and you're going to be gone for the next nine months. Your employer is not required at all to actually make sure that you are staying there, right? But if they choose to be like, okay, that's fine. You know, we're good to go. Then you get back from training and then you're like, hey boss, you know, uh, you know, I've had the shop for a little bit. You've maybe been back from training for a little bit. You're like, hey boss, you know, I got, you know, a couple weeks of training that I got to go to. At that point in time, you're already in the military, you have already been working at that job, then that employer, they should be keeping that job position available for you. But keep in mind, if you are deciding to join, they don't have to do that. But if you are already in the military, you have an employer, then that is the case in which your job is going to be safe. But what I wanted to talk about in this video is finding a new job, right? So a lot of you may be a little bit younger, maybe you're coming out of high school or something, or maybe you're in college and you're just wondering, you know, in the Army Reserves, in the Guard, whatever, is it gonna be more difficult? And from my personal experience, is it really doesn't affect you that much at all. The only time that I can see that it kind of affects you is if, you know, maybe you have some high up management position in some company and let's say you get deployed and maybe that company's a little bit scared that, you know, they might have to figure things out and some, you know, basically if you have a high level in a company, that's like the only time I can really see that that would be an issue. But for the most part, like if you're just going to get a job with some company as somebody who's employed there, not really a super hype manager or anything. The company is essentially gonna look at, you know, that weekend off that you're gonna have, which really it's the weekend still, they're just gonna look at that, I guess, as like a vacation. Like they're not really losing that much time. You are really not losing that much time whenever it comes to work, right? And if you're worried about paying everything, I promise you like for that weekend that you're gonna be gone, for the majority of jobs you're gonna have, especially you know if once you have been in the reserves for a couple of years, the money you're gonna get from that drill is going to offset whatever you would have made at your job or even not worked because it's the weekend. And also in my experience, it is kind of looked at as a positive that you are in the reserves, you're in the guard, in some kind of military service. It's kind of looked at it as a positive. That's something you can have on your resume that's going to set you apart, that's going to help you get hired more easily. It's not gonna make it more difficult. Again like the 5% of jobs that are out there, like yes, that might be the case, but some people kind of make it out to be like, you know, it's gonna be really difficult. If you join the Army Reserves, no employer's gonna wanna hire you. That is completely false, and in my circumstances and in my, you know, experience with friends and everything, like it's a little bit easier because being in the military, it kind of just like, it doesn't guarantee that you're like more reliable, right? But it does kind of make the employer feel a little bit better, right? So if they're hiring some stranger off the street, which you will be a stranger, 
but they know that you're in the military, which means that you can't really have done that many bad things in your life. You have to be somewhat reliable. You should be able to deal with stress a little bit. You should be able to deal with problem solving a little bit. They know because you're in the military, you have been working with other people, right? So there's a lot of positives that comes with being in the military, whether it's reserves or active duty, and then going and applying for a job. And the small percentage of jobs that might be out there that might look at you a little bit negatively because you might deploy at some time, that is a little bit of a different case because that's going to be a lot more rare. But for literally like every single job that I can think of, I do not see it as an issue of you trying to find a job. Even if you want to be like a teacher or something, right? If you want to be a teacher or something, that's going to be kind of looked at it as a positive. It's going to be the weekends whenever you have to go drill. All the schools are going to have to do is get a substitute. If you get deployed, you know, depending on when that's gone, they might have to have a substitute for a couple months which schools do that all the time and the majority of jobs are not gonna be like so reliant on you that's gonna be like really detrimental whenever you have to leave and get deployed that's why I said like unless you're like a super hype manager or something like or maybe you wanted to like start your own company or the CEO and then you get deployed and you can't really manage or do much that might be a little bit of a different case but anyways, I just kind of wanted to throw my thoughts out there for you guys who are maybe thinking about this, the thought process is going through your head, you're looking for a job, maybe you're thinking of joining the military and you're curious if that's gonna hinder you or it's gonna help you whenever you go do and look for a job. So obviously my opinion on this is it's actually going to help you more so than it is going to hurt you whenever you're going out there into the job market and you're trying to look for things right where before college after college after high school in any real circumstance i would say that the five percent of jobs in which they might not want you because you are in the military there's going to be more than you know five percent of jobs that are opened up to you because you have that military service on your resume so that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button that would be awesome if you want to check out some more of my videos hit the subscribe button that would be even better follow me on instagram and Snapchat if you guys have not already. Hope you have an amazing freaking day, and I will see you later.